Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make this magical Maltese cake. Believe it or not, there is a trick to it. It's not actually just suspended in air. And I'm going to um, show you the secret of how you do it. Obviously, you can use whatever products you want. I've used Maltesers, but you can use Aeros, Smarties, Skittles, whatever you like. Exactly the same method, exactly the same outcome. So let's move that cake over to there and bring in this gorgeous chocolate covered, uh, well buttercream, chocolate buttercream covered chocolate cake. So chocolate cake in the middle and buttercream around the outside. Uh, it's a seven inch round cake that I'm using and it's really important that you know that because I've worked out how many chocolate fingers you need to go around a seven inch and it's three packets. Now you probably don't actually need three packets, you probably only need two and a half because there's a lot of this going on. Sorry, can't help it. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to take our chocolate fingers and make sure they're straight. And we're basically going to go around the whole of the cake doing that. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm back in a sec. Abracadabra, done. So now we are going to use a plastic cake dowel we're going to put it in at an angle because it makes it look much more realistic. So I'm going to push into the bottom of my cake and just have it like that. Now I've got some lovely melted chocolate here. I've got a paintbrush and all I'm doing is just painting chocolate over this plastic dowel. Uh, this is doing nothing other than just covering up the fact that it's white. Okay, so we're not going to stick anything with this. It is just to cover it up so that we can't see it. As you can see, you really don't need to make it very neat and tidy. Just make sure that it is all covered. Perfect. Okay. So now I'm going to take my Maltesers and I've got, as you can see, this lovely plate. It's a flat plate. It's quite important for it to be flat because we're going to dip our Maltesers into the chocolate. Chocolate is a really good glue, so you don't have to worry about this sticking because it just will. What's important is that this is quite a thick dowel, so when you get the little cake dowels, don't buy the smaller ones, buy the biggest one that you can. So I'm taking two Maltesers, dipping the ends into the chocolate and then attaching them to the side of the dowel. I'm gonna take another two, do exactly the same thing and then I'm going to attach them the other side. So each level has got four Maltesers, okay? I'm going to do exactly the same thing but I'm going to alternate it, okay? Like so. You know what I'm going to say, don't you? I'm going to come back to you after I've gone all the way up. If you find that they're not sticking, which they should stick, then just put it in the fridge for about three minutes, let it all harden up and then carry on up. And I'll see you in a minute. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, now, as you can see, I've done all the way up the top. And now I'm just going to round the outside really nice and neatly. Perfect. And then I'm going to fill them in. So just take all of your Maltesers and pretty much fill them in. Now you can just pile them up around or if you're going to travel with it the best thing is to actually the ones at the bottom here that you want to pile up I would glue them with the chocolate. Okay. Because it looks much more lifelike if at the bottom you sort of have a pile of them gathering.
Mm. Okay. That's pretty much it. How does that look? Looking good. Okay. And now I'm going to take some ribbon. And you don't particularly need to do, in fact, I'm not going to do the ribbon first. I'm going to do the um, glazing first. I'm going to use, this is a clear edible glaze spray and it's absolutely brilliant from turning the chocolate, which does look lovely, but where I've sort of put, put um, them around the size of the cake, my nails have sort of made a little bit of indent and everything in the chocolate. But this spray, just a real, real small amount all around the outside and all over the top, really does turn it into quite something spectacular and then obviously take one of your packets and then you can just brush on the inside a little bit of chocolate second rule that's it always works and there you have it and as I said just to make it look extra special I quite like to put a nice ribbon all around it so if you were doing say for example you were going to do uh, mint aero you know they do these new share packs with the mint aero then you could put it on a green board and you could wrap it in a green ribbon so the ribbon really is just to color coordinate and also to keep any of the chocolate fingers from trying to come off if they want to. They can't now because we've tied them in. So a little bow, chop off the tails. And to be honest, within about 15 minutes, you have yourself the perfect magic Malteser cake. <laughs>